in Kampot. Kampot. South coast of Cambodia. Um, we're just walking around and spontaneously hopped onto a sunset tour because we didn't really have much else to do. And there's fairly good value beer, so cheers. It's a bit messy, so you can just see the mountains in the distance. So we presumed that we were going to turn around because we didn't think that we'd fit under this bridge but the guys just come up to tell us to lay down flat so that we do. <laughs> we're now facing the wrong way for sunset but oh well. He says it's okay. Because here comes the bridge. Jesus. It's going to be close. It's alright, there's bubbles in the corner. <laughs> what the hell? Do you think you need to take your beer off the table? Oh wow! We're gonna stop here too. Yeah. There's an emergency going on. There's still an emergency going on. The bridge is a very long way away. It's going to be an emergency going on for a very long time. This church was the, uh, the final battleground where the Khmer Rouge were defeated by the Vietnamese. So it's an old casino that was uh, set up as a part of a luxury resort in the 1920s when it was uh, under French occupation. Oh, pepper farm, pepper plantation, la plantation, la plantation. Um, and there's loads of mango trees all around here. 
Just ordered some squid from this bucket. Yeah. Just take it over to the market over here and get us some fresh local pepper. Yummy lunch. There we go. Pepper fried sweet squid. These are the fresh pepper. We went and just had a tour on the farm. Mm. Well, that went down well. Come to find the salt fields. Interesting. Just a no, yeah. Um, but they said, yeah, no problem. We can get you on uh, the three o'clock bus, which gets you there at six a.m. tomorrow morning. And that was at about quarter to two that we were we arrived in Hatien, and she said there's one bus a day, and it leaves at three o'clock. So here we are. Mm. Now we've got a sleeper bus. It's just got big beds on. Which is over there. You probably can't see on there, but it's got bunk beds. It looks very comfortable. Interesting. Yes. Well, we like the idea of these bunk beds. Quite, quite close to the back, so it's quite warm at the moment. I'm hoping uh, the aircon's going to cool it down. That's a really noisy Yeah. And the amount of space and storage room is quite yeah. there. You have to sit with all your stuff. On you. On you. Even little space and then Ollie cannot see in his seat from his toes to his head. So many people seats. But uh, for the night it has potential. We'll see how it goes. We made it to Dala. It's very early. The sun is rising over this lake here. It has risen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's good. Do you guys video blog wherever you go your travels? Yeah, that's exactly what we're doing. Yeah. 
<laughs> barbecue time. Yeah, we don't really celebrate. Sort of Day, octopus but... and wild boar. Well, that barbecue went down well. A little micro barbecue we cooked ourselves. I got a bit. Mm. 